Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, I think we're ready. This is class, and what we are doing is it's actually Friday, but the next few classes we're going to do is we're going to finish up Thursday's work. And the reason we're doing that is because yesterday I was at the school and um, helping with the parent pickup so that the parents could get you a packet. And um, it was fun, but I sure miss you guys. And campus is really quiet without you. So the other thing that I did was I got ready to come and work from home for the next few days. So I'll be live, live from the farm for the next, the next week. So um, in doing so, we, I miss the fact that we, you know, that we talk and I get to learn a little bit about your day. So I thought what we do is try to do something different at the beginning of every day. So what I wanna to do today is I'm going to show your handwriting paper. We're gonna put your handwriting paper up, but I want to, I want for you to stop. I want you to go in your room. I want you to get either a pair of crazy slippers or a crazy hat or a crazy pair of socks and go get them and put them on for me. We're gonna, I'm gonna have you draw a picture on your handwriting page just so that we can have a little crazy in our day. Cause you know, we can't go without some crazy in our day. And I miss everybody. Um, I was thinking about KJ this morning and about Hunter this morning. And I thought, I miss my crazy in my classroom. So let's do some crazy. So run in, get your things your socks, your crazy socks, your crazy hat, your crazy slippers, and come back in. And I'll wait for you. And when you come back, I'll tell you what we're gonna do. Okay, go do that. All right, did you do it? Did you get your crazy socks or your crazy hat or your crazy slippers? Okay, I got mine too. So here's mine and we're gonna draw them on our paper, but here's my crazy slippers. These are my duck slippers, they're my absolute fake. And I I don't know why, but Miss Perkins won't let me wear these at school. So the only thing, time I can wear them is when we're doing homeschool. There's my crazy duck slippers. I'm gonna put them on my feet. I hope you've got your crazy socks. And let's get started on handwriting. Today's handwriting is page 74. We did page 73 yesterday. And so this is the back part of that. Give me just a minute. I'll share my screen with you. And where is it? Where is it? Oh, where'd it go? There it is. Okay, here we are. Here's the screen and here's today's work. And um, there's probably a good size glare on this. So I hope. Let me know if you if you guys notice any problems with this. I don't know if me pulling up the screen, the screen share shows it all through the computer or if you get a glare. I know my kitchen's nice and sunny today. Um, so let me know, ask mom or dad to let me know if, you, if you've got some technical difficulties with this. Um, right now, we wanna make sure we do our name and date up here. And I'm going to ask you to do something kind of crazy, all right? This paper is actually something that we didn't get finished from yesterday. And I need to make a note that this is actually something from yesterday. So I'm going to have you put yesterday's date on it. So I want you to put 1, 14, 21. This is gonna be yesterday, okay? It's yesterday's handwriting. I'll try to record today's today, okay? Over here, I need you to draw a picture of your crazy shoes, your crazy slippers, your crazy socks. I'm drawing you a picture of my little crazy duck slippers right there. All right, my little crazy duck slippers. He doesn't look like a happy duck, but he is a happy duck. I mean, who wouldn't be happy on my feet all day, right? Right. Draw a picture of me, of uh, for me, up at the top of your crazy socks or your crazy slippers. I know Kylie probably has some magnificent crazy socks. All right. 
So having said that, that was our crazy for today. And what we're going to work on is the cursive letter X. You can see here where they did the print letter X. And I'm gonna need you to trace that once, trace it twice, trace it chicken soup with rice. Then we get to our cursive and the cursive starts in the middle, goes to the top, ah, goes to the bottom. I'm having a little trouble driving this morning. And then starts at the, starts at the top and comes back to the bottom. Let me try that again. I'm going to come from the middle to the top to the bottom and then the top to the bottom again. Something, something. All right. And then when you trace it again, we're going to trace it once and try very hard to stay in, stay on on the road when you're driving, you want to get a cursive ticket from the cursive cops. Trace it twice, trace it chicken soup with rice, and then do it again for me. Over here, you're going to do it almost all by yourself. They've got some dotted lines for you. And then over here, just enough to get you started. And then here you're completely on your own. So if you remember how we do this, I need you to write three of these. I know KJ always remembers that for me. So thanks, KJ. Um, and Preston is excellent with his handwriting and his cursive writing. He's really good at staying in the lines here. So try to do your work like Preston and be very, very precise. And in the lines, remember, we've got skyscraper letters, we've got house letters, and we've got um, subway letters. So keep those in the right spot. We're trying to avoid dull houses, remember. Okay, now in here, you've got the lowercase x. So you're gonna trace it once, trace it twice, trace the chicken soup with rice. This is the print. It's called the print version when you're not writing in cursive. And then this is the cursive. And cursive is designed so that you can write really fast because back in the day, they didn't have um, computer keyboards or typewriters or um, text so that you could just with your thumb and get a word out. It took a little longer. So a lot of times they had to write, be able to write fast. And cursive was where they would hook all their letters together and make it just a faster way of writing, which is why we do it. And right now, even though you don't see it much in, um, in, in the real world today, it's, it's not as common as it used to be. It's still beautiful. So it's an art form almost. And we want to honor that and try to keep learning that because it's always good to learn as much as we can. So the lowercase x goes from the bottom to the middle to the bottom again. And it comes back to the middle and the bottom. Okay, you're going to trace these all three times, then you're going to write them three times. Um, if you need to rewind this video and watch it again to, to learn how to do those, that's okay too. And what we've got down on the next part is a Bible verse. And this is from Timothy, the first Timothy 4.12. It says, let no man despise thy youth, but be thou an example of the believers in word, in conversation, in charity, in spirit, in faith, in purity. Hmm. What do all these words mean? Let no man despise thy youth. Well, despise kind of means to hate or not like or say bad things about. And so it's saying don't don't let people 
think bad of you, that I would be you being young. Youth means young. And then it says you need to be an example. That means you're going to set an example. You're going to be a leader of believers, believers in the true Christian faith, in word, meaning what you say and what you write. Sorry, this is what you write. In conversation, this is what you say. In charity, this is how you treat other people. And we've been working on treating other people with kindness and respect. In spirit, this is in your heart and in your faith. This is in your heart. This is in your faith. And purity means doing good things, appropriate things, always. Always kind and respectful, good things. So now we have a sentence right down here on the bottom, and it's asking you to trace this sentence and to write it down here. It says, I can be an example at this. So what you are going to do, and be very careful if you see some punctuation up here, like quotation marks and a period, here's a period, I need you to write those as well. I'm going to start with the quotations, and we're going to write I can be a example I didn't do my M very well. I did an M like we used to do them back in the old days. Okay. Now you have to go back and put that cross on your X there. And what is something you can do to set a good Christian example for others? Um, one of my favorite ones in the classroom is to speak kind, treat people with kindness. So you can write whatever you want down here. I'm going to write speak kindly. But you can write whatever you want. If you want to write speak kindly, that's okay too. I'm good with that. I guess I should probably write at speaking kindly. It didn't sound right. Wouldn't pass my super sentence test. There we go. At speaking kindly. Okay. There you go. I can be an example at speaking kindly. There you go. You can write whatever you want. If you have something else you'd like to write, like sharing your toys, um, helping your mom, any of those things would set an example for others and other people your age in order to do the right thing. Okay, so we're closing up this shop on this class, and I will see you in just a few minutes for, let's see, what do we have next? Reading? Okay. Um, do want to tell you, don't worry at all, as, as usual, when we do in the classroom, I have your reading book on my computer. So, but that's why it's most important to watch the videos. 
because if you don't watch the videos, you're not going to get the reading and we will read together, okay? Just like we do in class. So I love you all. I miss you all. I will see you for reading class very soon.